Dr. Steve Weiner from the Aesthetic Clinique, and we're in the Panhandle of Florida. And what I want to introduce to the world is what I'm going to call the Cheap Challenge. And what the Cheap Challenge is, is getting doctors all across the country to participate in comparing the two FDA-approved fillers for the Cheap. The first one is Voluma, which was FDA-approved about a year and a half ago, uh, and it's an allergen product. And the other one is the Galderma product, which is currently called Perlane, but it's going to be changed to Red Slim Lift. That was recently FDA approved. And what I want to do is challenge other doctors to participate in putting uh, Restylane Lift in one side of the face, in the cheeks, and Voluma in the opposite side. And we want to see if there's any difference between the two products, whether there's more swelling, more side effects, uh, better outcomes, longevity, how long do these last. And so we're going to give it a try. And I think it's better that several doctors give this a try rather than just one. So we get a lot of differences of opinion, and, and that's better for the public. The main thing is to uh, expose the public the, that there is a new type of filler that can rejuvenate the upper face and, and the cheek area. What that does by injecting in the cheek area, it, it helps with the eyes. It also helps with the sagging skin of the lower face. It just pulls things up. So, so I want to just get uh, the public aware about these products. And, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my patient. My patient is going to be a week out, and she's going to describe the uh, procedure. I use cannulas, which is not exactly the way these are approved by the FDA, but I did it the same for both sides. And then I'm going to show you before and after pictures uh, with several different views. And then I'm going to show you, so she's a week out, I'm going to show you a month, and three months, and six months, and a year, and 18 months, and two years. And we're going to follow her along and see if we can find any subtle differences between the two sides. So uh, right now, she's only a week, so we're only going to have that. We're also going to get real self involved, and they're going to help publicize this. And so uh, let's go take a look at our first patient. So uh, I'm back with our first patient. She's a week out from having uh, three cc's of, uh, of Voluma on this side and three cc's of Restylane Lift or Perlane on this side. And that's kind of the way that the study of these products were, was done for the FDA. I, not everyone's going to require three cc's on each side. So the doctors that are doing it from here on out, do what you think is appropriate for the uh, full correction of the upper cheeks. So um, again, I use cannulas and I, and I uh, filled in this area here. Let's we'll show you the befores and afters. She has a, uh, this is a congenital problem, she states. These are malar bags and, and they, they're not created by the procedure. So, so you came and, and you had it done a week ago and, and how, how was the after tear and all that? Oh, so not a big deal at all. Right. Almost no swelling at all, no no bruising at all. I mean, really, not even really sore at all awesome. after after felt time. Awesome. That, that's the benefit of using cannulas for this procedure. I know not all of you are going to use cannulas, but, but the cannulas really help with the post-operative, uh, you know, recovery. It's really nothing. So um, have you noticed any difference in recovery or swelling between the two sides? Um. One side seems to be just slightly fuller than the other. Yeah. Um, this one seems just a little bit fuller than this side, but I mean, but pretty even for the most part. Right. You know? And the swelling and I the didn't, stuff. Was... This one swelled maybe a little bit more, and it may still be just very slightly swollen on this side, um, but not maybe not anything noticeable at all. Okay, me. so this side is the perlane side, and this side is the Voluma side. She said that this side appears to be slightly fuller, than this opposite side, maybe even slightly higher mm -hmm. than the opposite side. I did do both sides equally. She was more volume deficient, a little bit on this left side to start with, but I did equal amounts in both sides just to keep it kind of scientific. Sure, yeah. Um, but, but as you can see, she, she and you'll see by the befores and after, this dramatic improvement in the upper face. But the other thing that you should notice, and I'll show you on the pictures, is that she had some uh, jowling below the jaw uh, and the filler in the cheek has improved her jawline. And you wouldn't think that putting filler way up here but it would improve that, but what it does is it kind of lifts things. So I'll show you on the pictures in a split second. 
But overall, your experience has been great. No bruising oh, as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it definitely makes a difference on the lower part of your face because you this is not as noticeable. Uh -huh. um, this is, and then even with the with the bags here, it's still. I mean, it kind of puffs them up, and so they're not as noticeable to right. me. I think it looks much better. So what she's describing are nasal labial folds are better. Uh, infraorbital hollows are better. Uh, even her neck is better from just improving the upper face. So, so that's a big deal. And that's what we really want to uh, establish is that improving the upper face not only improves the upper face, but it improves the whole face. So uh, now I'm going to go over her befores and afters. Thank you. The only other. Go. So here I am, and I'm comparing the befores and afters on a two dimensional uh, picture of our patient. And what I wanted to show you here, which is very interesting, is uh, first, um, here, here's the improvement in the cheek, where this is very flat. We have improvements here in the cheek. We also have a better def definition of the cheek right here versus over here. You don't see it quite as well. But the real interesting part of this is look at the neck. And these are, you, you can see by the nose angle, the nasal angle, that this is really a comparable uh, uh, head tilt. But look at the neck. The neck, the jawline is so much smoother here than here. And I'll show you on 3D how this shows too. But also look, the neck right down here isn't, doesn't hang as low. It, it, it's much improved right here. So what that shows you is in improving the cheek pulls everything up right here. And let me just show you one other uh, drawing. Um, and uh, this is the uh, front on view. And um, so, so here we go. This is before and this is after one week. And take a look here. Look at the, the tear trough. And, and this whole fullness in the cheek is better. It makes the nasal labial folds better on both sides. But also look here in the pre sulcus. This is improved on this side as well. Okay, and, and, and again, same thing on this side. Um, the, the, this, this hollowness here is markedly improved over here. You have a fullness more of the upper face compared to this side. It just gives an overall more youthful appearance on this side versus this side. And you can see the jowling is, is, is less because it's pulling things up. Now, um, let me go show you on three-dimensional view as well, right over here. We've taken three-dimensional pictures of her. And uh, so, so take a look. And the other side is more dramatic than this side, but I want to show you how, how the tear trough right here is a lot deeper than this side. And so the cheek here, it's markedly improved. You have the nasal labial folds better, uh, and, and you have the, uh, the jowling that's better on this side than it is on this side. This is the before and this is the after. And then I'm going to show you which is uh, even more impressive on this side, that here's the neckline, uh, I'm sorry, the jawline on this side. Look at it compared to this side. Again, this is the Voluma side. Maybe the Voluma had improvement on this side versus the other side, or maybe it, it, it you know, she didn't have as much of a problem. But uh, there you go. So, so you take a look and the, this neck improvement is very dramatic compared to the pre. Let's take a look right here in the neck and over here, okay? And then another thing that this improves, and they talk about this, is called the OG curve. And the OG curve is this curve right over here. So it's a curve right in there. And take a look, it's, marked, it's improved. You wanna see that, that's a sign of usefulness, this OG curve. Let me show you the OG curve on the opposite side. Okay, so, so here we go. We have this OG curve that's improved. Um, you see that right there? This is really flat. Here we have an OG curve. Okay, so um, take a look also at the, um, the nasal labial folds I want to show you. You know, we didn't even directly inject these nasal labial folds, but that goes to show you what improving the cheek does. It improves the nasal labial folds and improves the jawline. It improves this double chin area. Look at this. 
So these are very comparable video uh, films, uh, three-dimensional films. So, uh, okay, come. so just a, a final view of this is the uh, rest and lift side, the purlane side. Take a look at here. It's a tear trough there, markedly improved. We have a, a better definition of the uh, cheek. We have a better defined jawline, and look at the double chin area improved. And so that's that's the restal and lift side. And then we go over here, and we're looking at the uh, the voluma side. And the voluma side has very similar features of improvement in the tear trough and the cheek, but a little bit better here in the jawline. Um, but uh, so in conclusion, we, we found that uh, there's not much difference between the two sides right now. Um, the patient stated that perhaps the, uh, the left side, which was the voluma side, wasn't quite as high as the opposite side, but to, to my uh, pictures, I don't see that. Um, there's a little bit more improvement on the voluma side in, in the uh, jowling on the left side, but uh, you know that, that's not necessarily related to voluma, it could be. Um, and the patient stated there was really no difference in the, the uh, swelling or the side effects or the pain in the post-operative period. So right now, maybe not much difference, may, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find out over the next several weeks and months if there's going to be a difference. So right now, I'm, I'm calling out some people to do the uh, cheek challenge. Uh, Dr. Persky, uh, Dr. Rajani, Dr. Bloom. And uh, Dr. DeJoseph, it's your turn to do the cheek challenge. I challenge you to do the cheek challenge. Signing off, Dr. Weiner.